Good morning. Look at those swells. Wow. This is what I had to do last night. I had to make this bridle. Tied up with a boat. So that bridle is holding the boat sideways. So that way, the wave is coming straight. See right there? The wave is coming straight to the bow of the boat. I don't feel that movement. If I had the boat sideways, it will be rolling but having bow first with a wave you hardly feel it makes a huge improvement on how the boat doesn't roll look at that little swells They're about two feet swell. The wind still is about 20 miles per hour wind. Feels pretty tough. Has not let off anything. I think to make breakfast, I'm gonna go to the other side. This anchor works awesome. Every time it lands, it anchors 100%. Alright, now heading to the other side. crazy and this weather's terrible for heading back to Florida this side is very calm Rough here. Yeah, really rough here because the ocean opens up right there. So I have to get behind this K right here. All right, look where I have anchored. Honeymoon Harbor's way over there. You can see the dock there. It's a nice little beach here. Coconut tree back there. Big uh, rock right there protecting from the swells. And that uh, lighthouse is right over there. Cat Key is right over there. You can see some yachts over there. But here's very comfortable. There's no swells. Very calm. Very windy but it's very calm here. Look at that. So I'll be you know, moving around while I'm making breakfast. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. All right, in this beautiful day, I'm going to make bacon, potato, 
tomatoes, uh, some toast, and some pancakes. That's gonna be my breakfast today. I'm gonna cut the potatoes in medium sized chunks so they can cook a little faster. All right, put in the skillet with some butter, 15, 20 minutes. Look at those potatoes. Look golden. Tomatoes and also grilled potatoes. And some bacon. All right, look at that big crate. And two eggs, three bacon. Potato and my vegetable tomatoes. Perfect. And some maple syrup. Since I make this big breakfast, I don't eat lunch. For today, uh, supposed to the weather's supposed to come down a little bit, about twelve to one. Maybe I can go fishing. But today I'm gonna try after breakfast. I'm gonna try to explore that side of the island. I never been here. To this side of the island. At least the morning did not start with rain like yesterday. After 12 o'clock. The weather's supposed to get better. The winds for 15 miles per hour dropped to 11. Oh, that's a big breakfast. And like yesterday, I'm gonna use the Minn Kota to get really close to shore. So I don't have to swim to shore. I just go knee deep. And I should be all right. This little plates, they are awesome. They clean real fast. I was very skeptical to buy these plates, but they have saved me so much garbage. Um, by using paper plates, you use a lot of garbage. And this is greener. A uh, very inexpensive plate. Uh, I can cut on it. Just love it. From now on, this is what I'll be using instead of using paper plates. Boating is not just fun, camping on a boat. After breakfast, you have to clean everything, put it away for the next meal. You can't just leave it hanging around. This is incredible. Here, look. Going back to Florida. That's like a 20 passenger airplane. Only one engine. Going right over the Bermuda Triangle. One engine. I like it. Wait a minute. I also travel with one engine. So I guess he's not just the fool. There's two fools here. Single engine fools. Alright, look at this. Look at this drone footage right here.
Look at that ocean over there. Look at that. It's crazy. The weather predicted a little bit better, but they screwed up. Once again, they have disappointed me. Look at that, how beautiful. This is an awesome little beach here. Beautiful, calm, compared to everywhere else. This little beach here is a piece of paradise right here. All right, I'm gonna get ready to get off. You're probably wondering how am I gonna get to shore with all this equipment, camera, and my gear when this is about seven feet down and there's a giant barracuda right there. Look at him. Man, he's a log. Look at that. Huge barracuda. Had to be at least three and a half feet. Huge. But I'm not too afraid of the barracuda. So the bull shark that was here the other day. That, that uh, keeps me concerned, especially while I'm by myself here. I have no assistance. Let me show you here what I do here. I have the Minn Kota positioned towards that way, right? The anchor is sitting right there. You can see it. But I have the Minn Kota like this here, right? So I'm going to turn the Minn Kota on slowly. And it's going to take me about a foot and a half of water. So I don't have to get wet that much. And the boat is going to head that way slowly and it's gonna have that pivot motion it's gonna to pivot towards the back of the water there which is great I'm gonna slow it down a little bit so that way it doesn't go too fast all right still on now it's gonna pivot the tail of the boat is going to pivot all the way towards the shore there. See how the boat is pivoting now towards the back? The boat now is about a foot of water. Six inches from the keel but now once I let it go it's gonna go back to the position that it was before and hopefully the Minkota will turn on later because if it doesn't I'm gonna have to swim to the boat Oh, it's another one right there. Look at her. They go right over the bushes like nothing. Looks like there's a little pond here. There's no fish here. There's no fish here because it's an easy target for a bird to eat it. You guys know where to go. Man, you can hardly walk through here. Look at this. You can break a foot. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to have any coconuts.
Yeah, it looks like I'm a little late to the coconuts. Looks like somebody already came and took all the coconuts. And nobody leaves nothing for nobody around here. Yep. And I wanted some coconut. This is the only coconut tree in this area. I was looking at that coconut tree since yesterday, hoping there'll be some coconuts. There's more coconut trees over there, but that's a long walk. That's almost like uh, 40 minutes. And the trees are real tall. You can get to them if you don't have a phone. It's a beautiful day. It's important not to walk over the mangroves. This is all growing mangroves. Um, that way they can grow. You see those trails right there? Those are Iwana trails. They crawl through here, all the way to there. See, this greenery is what keeps this island together from erosion. Plastic garbage. It's a little garbage. It's not that bad. Could be worse. There's a lot of life here. Check it out. Small little uh, conch. Very small. Yeah, this is not a legal size. Look, there's another one right here. This one is also a baby. This one is different. The shell is kind of hard. Look at that, beautiful. This looks real nice here. Look at this little plant. Look how beautiful it looks. It's growing right right on the limestone there. Check out that lizard right there. It's a blue lizard, just like the water blue. And like I said, there's a lot of uh, life here in this little case. Little animals, iguanas, birds, lizards, they call this home. This sand is probably brought by, I doubt it is from there. Most likely it's from here, from storms. And it drags it all the way up here. When it's real rough, like a hurricane, that water flows all over those rocks, all the way to the other side here. See, people come here and drink Henneken. There's no way that this bottle's open made it here there's no way because once the bottle is open if, if it's glass it's gonna sink so people are coming here enjoying themselves drinking some beer and leaving the beer behind shame on you dirty people shame on you dirty people treating my earth like it's your private garbage can I think they want us to drink some of this water because this water could be a little bit of fresh water. So this could be the fresh water source. Even though it looks really, really bad. If they want to drink that water, it's going to have some terrible diarrhea. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. might seem boring but it's pretty relaxing just uh, walking around land 
because I'm always in the boat. I never get to explore. I see how far the boat is. It's about probably about 70 feet. I'm just gonna turn the air conditioner on and take a little break because it's really hot. Yep, just take a little break here. Woo! Super hot. It is probably like 85 degrees. Get it silent on time. Didn't find a coconut to be refreshing enough. So found one here. Coconut from Mexico. Got some salsa in the cooler bag over here. You have Coast Guard right there. Yep, he's heading straight to Miami. Heading straight to Miami. All right, now that the weather has come down a little bit, I think I'm gonna head now to fishing. Make sure that everything is in place back here. If I cannot be out there, manage to be out there, then I'll come back. Prep clear. Even though there's a yacht right there, it's good to have common courtesy. Even though that yacht is about 90 to 100 feet, you still have to have some uh, common courtesy. Not to go too fast around yachts. Respect. And I wish the yachts would respect you too, but sometimes they don't even care about little boats. catch out here. Man, got about six footers. Woo! This is incredible. Look at this. Ah, gotta go a little slower because this is too much. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, the pulp hit the water. I'm going to try to get out of the channel because sometimes the ocean is the roughest woo, in the channel. So if I go out there, if it's not as calm and it's like this, it is rough here, but it's not as rough over there. But here I can only navigate at seven miles per hour because the conditions are not the best here either. Yeah, I've never seen the pulpit go inside the ocean like that, like a, like a dolphin, like, like, like an animal in there. Never seen that. I'm 
I don't think this is gonna be a, a good way to fish, but I'm going to try. Yeah, the crooked pilot house is really taking a beating here. Oh! All right, it looks like it's gonna be tolerable for a little bit. The Minkota's gonna to have to work hard. Hey, but that's the price you pay for being a Minkota. All right, let's go fishing. It's a beautiful day, look at this, man. Oh, oh! Oh, man, that wave freaked me out. It was coming right towards me. Look at that beautiful red fish. Beautiful. Up here. Alright, hit bottom already. About almost 200 feet here. I'm surprised that Minkota can keep me in the same spot here with all this movement. I got something big here. Something real big. Look at that. Come on, buddy, come on. I put a tail of a mullet. Gotta tie him out. He's big. He's not a shark. I can tell he's not a shark. He's more like a grouper. Big, he's gonna be huge. Hopefully, it's a keeper. Woo. I'm tired him out. Oh, he doesn't run fast. Woo. Look at that. Ah, oh. happens every time. That was not a shark. And I'm using a 120 pound liter. Lots of fish. All right, put another liter in. Keep on going. I got something here. Feels like a trigger fish. And it's a nice trigger fish. Beautiful fish. I have to let it go. I want to get the other ones, the silver ones. I knew it was the trigger fish. The way he was pulling. Oh. Yeah, I got this one. This one's pulling real nice. Woo! Easy, easy, buddy. I think this is a trigger fish. This is the one that I can take. This has got to be the silver one. Come on, buddy. Come on. Woo, he's pulling real hard. Another colorful one. Man, another one just just the same as the other one. Beautiful. Feels like a trigger fish. It is the same colorful trigger fish. Yep, I'm done.
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a shower and cook dinner. I'm ready later, ready. I don't know the time. That's it. Oh, fishing is over. All right, time to go. Heading over there should be easy because I'm going with the wave. Alright guys, I'll continue this trip on the next video. And if you like this video, please thumb it up. Thank you for watching and always never.